Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 8th of August 2019 and the time has just gone 11.35 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is gold. A uh, quick snapshot, uh, the gold market has been on a major run uh, recently and only yesterday it racked up yet another six year high. Um, there's a number of reasons for this. Um, essentially, a combination of the softer US dollar with a very much risk off attitude of traders has really just kind of poured money uh, into markets such as gold, silver, the Japanese yen, uh, classic uh, fight the quality plays. Uh, we've seen a major plunge uh, in, in government bond deals uh, in the last few days. We've seen a number of central banks cut interest rates in the last few days. This is all a, um, kind of a, you know this this really highlights the fear that's within the financial markets and gold is one of the biggest benefactors. Um, I mentioned about the software U.S. dollar. The perception is the Federal Reserve, uh, even though they cut rates last month, the perception is they're going to be cutting they're going to be cutting rates again, possibly September, possibly December, uh, and that is and the and this even the talk and the chatter of rate cuts from the from the Fed. Uh, has softened up the U.S. dollar, and seeing as the seeing as gold, like other commodities, is traded in U.S. dollars, it is worth keeping an eye on what's going on in the in the uh, dollar market. So, if you take a look here at the dollar index, the upward move here we saw at the end of, of, of last month was in relation to the um, to the to the rate cut, and the commentary, the initial commentary, which didn't exactly spell out further rate cuts, but the um, the ratcheting up of trade, trade tension between the US and China uh, not too long after that led to a fairly sizable sell-off in the greenback. And it's no coincidence that we've seen a downward move in, in, in gold uh, in, in the US dollar. On the flip side, we've seen a positive move in gold. Um, it's also worth keeping an eye on what's going on in silver. Um, Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other. And it's quite often the case that gold and silver move in the same direction. So if you could take a look here at silver, we can see that the, we've had um, since late May, we've had a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. And actually, we had a major move to the upside in silver yesterday. Um, and only yesterday, silver hit its, hit silver hit its highest level uh, since, um, since, since, la since um, June last year so june 2018 so not so it's pushing in the same direction so therefore while 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 um both markets are hitting kind of multi-year highs um well gold silver just uh, over a year high gold just over a multi-year high we can look at we can be more confident that the wider upward trend is going to continue in gold so we can see here the market's been, been pressing higher on the MACD indicator and on the MACD histogram, there's a steady increase in, in positive momentum. So we can be more confident that the upward trend is going to continue. Taking a look um, at the wider view on the, uh, the day, on the weekly chart, we can see here that the market has been aggressively pushing higher over the last, uh, essentially going over, over, over two years now. And if you take, if you do the Fibonacci retracement from the highs of 20, August 2018 to the lows of December uh, 2015, we can see here at this particular metric, the 38.2% um, retracement from that downward move has been a significant uh, level on a few occasions. It's in around 1380, 1380, 1375 is, is the price, and we can see on a few occasions that 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 level has been significant. Uh, uh, precisely when that level was actually cleared um, in June of this year. If you do manage to kind of press on higher from here, uh, these, these levels currently are just shy of 1,500. If you can press on higher from here, we could be looking at targeting this region here in around 1,555. It's also worth noting, um, looking at the, the lows of July 2012, there's been a, a, a series of, kind of, of, of lows here. They're in around, the, also in around the kind of 1,560 mark. So 1,555, 1,560, that could potentially be an area um, for resistance, if the if, if the um, the bullish move that we've seen in gold continues, now it is worth pointing out we did see a sizable move between late May uh, and and, um, and, la and late and late June, and then we saw a bit of sideways trading for a, for a, for a number of weeks before we had the next leg higher. It is po it is possible uh, that we could see something similar whereby the gold market either trades sideways for a bit, or maybe even as a bit of a retracement for a while. 
like I said, I think um, the Federal Reserve are speculated to be, to be cutting rates in, in September. It's possible we could see gold either drift off before then or trade sideways until we, we get that news. So if we do see any moves to the downside in gold, we could see buying on the dip. It's been a popular strategy in recent weeks and months. So if the market does manage to move lower, in around this area here, uh, 14.53 down to 14.30, that zone could act as resistance, possibly even down as low as the um, as the uh, the, full, the psychologically important 1400 mark. Uh, and, as, and essentially, as, as long as we hold above say this region here, in around 13.81, 13.82. Um, the lows of, um, of, of early July, that also kind of coincides with that 38.2 uh, retracement I was talking about earlier. So essentially, as long as you hold above that, it's likely that the wider upward trend in gold could continue. If you have any comments to make in this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.